Welcome to Head to Head, our weekly preview and prediction show where you can watch me go down in flames quicker than Butch Jones trying to count to two. Anise, we could make fun of Butch Jones and Brett Bielema all day long, but why don't we talk about everybody's favorite punching bag, the Auburn Tigers. Now, Auburn did show a little bit of life last week. In the second half, they, I think they only allowed Mississippi State around 55 or so rushing yards, which is a lot improvement compared to LSU. And only one field goal. They did win the second half. You sound like one of those sunshine pumpers. They won the second half. There's hope for the future. Sean White, they showed some life in the offense. Yeah, they showed so much life. They moved the ball between the 20s, but they got, into, but they got inside the 20, and he was Sean of the dead in the red zone. They didn't score a touchdown. This is Gus Malzahn, super genius on the offensive side of the ball we're talking about. Are you kidding me? Auburn, they've only scored one touchdown in the first half all season. Something's got to change there. Something's got to change or someone's going to change at the end of the season. Have we even mentioned San Jose State yet? Maybe we should talk a little bit about them. They do have the second best passing defense in the nation and one of the best running backs in the nation as of right now. And they have an offensive super genius of their own and their offensive coordinator, Al Borges, who Auburn knows very well. Of course, he put together that incredible offense in 2004. Helps when you have Jason Campbell, Ronnie Brown, and Cadillac Williams uh, behind the center. But He's got some playmakers now. This team can score some points. And now it's prediction time. Kevin, what do you think? You know, this is homecoming, Anise. This is supposed to be a time for everybody to relax, have a fun afternoon, get the backup quarterback some snaps. The only problem is the starting quarterback needs all the snaps he can get, and this team is shaky in so many areas. This game is going to be not unlike Jacksonville State, far too close for comfort. I've got it 31 to 28, Auburn. Yeah, you know, I said that they have San Jose State has the second best pass defense, but their rush defense, not good. I think this is going to be a game where Auburn can really get some momentum going on the ground, and I don't think there's going to be very much pressure on Sean White, so I think he's going to be able, I think he's going to have a good game here. Um, I, I still think that there's still going to be some, you know, iffy spots. I, I think San Jose State's going to be able to score on them, but I think it's going to be 31 to 20. 31 to 20. Auburn. Any victory for the Tigers is a good victory these days.